Michael, you were there. I can speak for Kevin here. We saw that. It dampened all the enthusiasm we had for the opening of the NBA season. What was it like to see it firsthand? Um, I don't know that I've seen an injury quite like that or a reaction like that in person. Um, you know, I was not there in the arena for the Paul George injury, which had apparently for people who were there the same sort of effect. But immediately, you know, you, you see, I looked at Dwayne Wade, who went to one knee and started to pray, um, just right out open on the court. And it was interesting that the Cavaliers players seem to be as affected, if not more so, than the Celtics players. And it just happened to, I just happened to catch the eyes sitting at courtside. And it, I immediately got a, a text from Grant Hill. Uh, Grant Hill, of course, who played nearly 20 years in the league, but who lost about four or five of those years at the prime of his career with lower leg injuries related to ankles in some cases. And so obviously Grant is uniquely qualified to both feel for, to empathize with uh, what Gordon Hayward was going through and also sort of be an expert on what was happening, what you have to do. And, um, you know, also in, in, in speaking to an emergency medical physician that I know, um, he immediately talked about getting, dealing with the dislocation on the court. And by the way, because Gordon Hayward wound up leaving with the team tonight and is going to be able to have surgery tomorrow, I mean, if, if you can look at things that might be mitigating, those were seen as, relatively speaking, positive things uh, regarding his injury. But at the time, you couldn't feel any of that. It was, it was tough to get back into the game after watching that kind of injury, that kind of aftermath, and seeing the reaction of all the players on the court.